Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Powers of 10. We'll start our lesson by looking at a Powers of 10 chart. In the chart, I can see that I have exponential form, expanded form, and standard form. Let's take a moment to look for patterns. In the standard form column, I see that I go from 1 to 10 to 100. So I'm increasing in place value as I go from one part of my standard form to the next part of my standard form. Before I can make any more observations, let's go ahead and finish filling out our powers of 10 chart. Under my expanded form column, I see that I am missing a section here and a section here. I know from a previous lesson that the exponent is going to tell me the number of times to repeat the base. So for the expanded form of 10 to the second power, or 10 squared, I should be writing 10 two times. So this is simply 10 times 10. For 10 to the fourth power, I know that I should be repeating my base four times. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. The last part I need to fill out in this table before making more observations is the exponential form column. And we are just going to abbreviate that as the exponent column. I see on the top here of this table that I have 10 divided by 10. I'm going to assume that 10 is my base. I remember from a previous lesson that any time I divide my base by itself, that I'm going to get a power of 0. So, because my base is 10, and I know that I'm going to be getting a 0 power, this must be 10 to the 0 power. In this column, I see that I have repeated my 10 three times, so then I should have a base of 10 with an exponent of 3, or 10 to the third power, 10 cubed. And in my last column, I have written 10 out five times, so this will be 10 to the fifth power. There seems to be a direct relationship between our exponents and our standard form. Take a moment to see if you can figure out what that relationship might be. The pattern that you should have found is that the exponent is going to match the number of zeros in the standard form. Notice that this exponent says zero, and there are no zeros in the standard form. This exponent says two, and there are two zeros in the standard form. Let's try an example of this. Here we have 10 to the sixth power. Because it is raised to the sixth power, I know that I'm going to be writing 10 six times. I learned from my observations in the table that the exponent is going to match the number of zeros in the standard form. So I will write one followed by six zeros. That's going to give me one million. Let's recap. Look at the standard form above. There is a pattern in which the exponent tells you how many zeros will be in the number. Feel free to pause the video at this time and play again when you're ready to try out these two examples. What is 10 to the seventh power in standard form? I know there's a direct relationship between the exponent and the number of zeros in standard form. So I should be writing a one followed by seven zeros. In this question, what is one billion in exponential form? I know that if there is a relationship between the exponent and the number of zeros, then there is a relationship between the number of zeros and the exponent. So I'll simply count how many zeros are in the standard form. So I ended up with nine. So this must be 10 to the ninth power. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.